Here's an easy and cheap way to add another layer of security to help prevent your vehicle from being stolen easily using the OBD2 port. I'm going to show you how I relocate a vehicle's OBD port and also replace it with a dummy port. You are probably hearing more and more of cars being stolen using the OBD port nowadays. Whether it's using the OBD port to plug in a cheap little hacking device to be able to turn off the factory security alarm and to start the vehicle, or to be able to program a new blank key to be used to steal the vehicle, these are all possible due to the insecure nature of the OBD2 port. Keyless car thefts and OBD car thefts are becoming more and more of a big enough problem in Canada and other countries that news agencies like Toronto City News, CBC News, and Global News have reported on them several times over several years. One typical attack surface that is mentioned is the OBD port. As you can see in their videos, it is really eye-opening how easy and with little effort doing something like this is. Some of these tools are easily and cheaply purchased online, while other legitimate locksmith tools are stolen to be able to program new blank keys. They mentioned to use an OBD port lock to prevent access, which I talk about and show in our other video. Check out these news videos to see the whole story. I've included links to the full video in our video description below. An alternative that is not talked about is to relocate the port and put a fake one in its place. Note that doing this does not protect your vehicle 100%, as nothing can do that cost-effectively. You can only add layers of security that will hopefully be enough to frustrate the thief to move on to the next target. Fracking Creations, showing you the good stuff. Please pause the video here to read the disclaimer and understand the risks before attempting this. What I used. For this DIY, I used some zip ties and an OBD splitter cord like this. You can also use OBD extension cords too. Though the adapter plug itself should be the same for all OBD2 plugs, the surrounding trim used for attaching to the vehicle may be different. Some are screwed in with screws, while others just clip right in like this. I've included links to several types of OBD cables in our video description below if you are looking for one. In some cases, you may not be able to find one that matches the one in your vehicle. In those cases, you will have to find the closest match and DIY the fitment yourself. Where is the OBD2 port? You will have to first locate your OBD port and determine the type of OBD cable that you need. The OBD port is usually located under the dash on the driver's side, but sometimes elsewhere, like in the center console, the passenger side, or glove compartment. Sometimes it is just visibly sticking out, while other times it could even be hidden behind a protective cover. Some are white colored, while others are black. You can check your owner's manual if you're not sure. Some additional precautions. First is to make sure you do not have your keys in the ignition, or your car turned on or in accessory mode. Note that the OBD port is usually still powered even when the vehicle is off, so do not use any metal screwdrivers or tools that could accidentally contact and cause a short on the plug or anywhere else in the vehicle. Remove and relocate OBD port. You will need to carefully remove the OBD port while not damaging it or the wiring harness attached to it, or damaging any other cables and systems around it. Unclip or unscrew as necessary. You will then have to find a location to hide or zip tie the original OBD port and harness too. I won't show this here since every vehicle will be different and you want your location to be different and unique to you so that it is not common. It will have to be hidden so that it is not easily found and it cannot be loose and dangling such that it falls out while you are driving and cause a driving hazard or accident. Note that if it is loose or dangling, it can also be an issue as the wiring can be damaged by rubbing on surfaces over time. It should also not be anywhere near your foot pedals and linkages, steering shaft and column, or any other mechanical moving part, and definitely should not cause them to not operate properly or get jammed. While working with any cables, be careful not to pull on or be too aggressive with the cables as you don't want to damage them. Install dummy OBD port. Next, you will then install your dummy port to the original port location and find a safe place to secure the excess cable in place to with zip ties. Again, cables should be safely located as mentioned before and not loose or dangling or against anything sharp. This particular OBD splitter cable has two OBD ports to choose from. Both are the clip style, but one is loose fitting while the other fits well, so I chose to use the one that fit best. That's all there is to this DIY. Just by looking, you cannot easily tell that the OBD port has been relocated with a dummy port put in its place. Bonus! If you sell your vehicle or take your vehicle into an auto shop or dealership to service or repair, make sure to replace the original port or at the very least let them know where to find it. They may need to be able to access the OBD port for diagnosis of problems or for updating the firmware of the vehicle. 
If relocating the real OBD port back to its original location, make sure to be careful when cutting the zip ties holding it. You don't want to accidentally cut the actual wires. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, securing a vehicle is going to take more than any one solution can offer since there are many different ways to steal a vehicle nowadays. Make sure to also take additional steps to protect your vehicle by using a layered approach. A good Faraday bag or a pocket Faraday box can be used to protect yourself from keyless car thefts using relay attacks and properly using a good steering wheel lock like I show in our other videos are additional steps you can take among many that are required these days. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe, and share to help our channel grow. Thanks for the support.